the historical context out of which uh, Kwanzaa emerged? Kwanzaa emerged in the context of the black liberation movement with its stress on culture, uh, independence, culture, integrity, uh, political self-determination, and the commitment to struggle and return to our own history and culture. It's in that context that I created Kwanzaa for three basic reasons, to reaffirm our rootedness in African culture and to return to our history, and second, to give us a time as African people when all around the world we could come together and meditate on the awesome meaning of being African in the world and reinforce the bonds between us. And third, I created Kwanzaa in order to introduce and reinforce the importance of community and African values, values that stress and strengthen family, community, and culture, and of course, the hub and hinge on which the holiday turns or the seven principles in Guzo Saba, which are first in Swahili and then in English, Umoja, unity, Kuchichagalia, self-determination, Ujima, collective work and responsibility, Ujima, cooperative economic, Nia, purpose, Kuma, creativity, and Imani, faith. Can you uh, explain, uh, did, you, did you anticipate the popularity? Well, I'm no prophet, but we believe that if I could create it something of value, the black people would embrace it, use it as their own, take it as value orientation, use it as culture and philosophical grounding, and use it as a basis for program de programmatic, programmatic development in the work they do in and for the community. And so they have done that. 40 million people throughout the world, African community, on every continent in the world, have done just that. And do you feel it's as needed now as it was in the 60s? Yes. And I want us to say, when we say it's needed, it's needed to enhance our life. It's needed to increase our strength because we're already a strong people. And it's not to solve problems. It is to expand our conception of ourselves because how you understand yourself dictates how you assert yourself. We are world historical people and we must always understand that. And we are moral and social vanguard in this country that have not only uh, fought and won battles that benefited our just cause, but also expanded the realm of human freedom and flourishing in the world. And do you see people celebrating Kwanzaa who aren't black? Well, people can celebrate whatever they want. I mean, there are different kinds of Kwanzaa celebration. There's the family uh, celebration, there's the community celebration, and there's a the public celebration. And in the public celebration, for example, in college or education, all kinds of people celebrate. But it, there are rules to this. All great messages have two aspects. They're particular and they're universal. It is particular for black people, just like Hanukkah for Jews, Cinco de Mayo for Latinos, Chinese New Year for Chinese. But inside that is a universal message that speaks to the best of what it means to be African and human in the fullest sense of the word. And people can embrace that. 